You've seen these stick figure animations everywhere, right? They're pulling in millions of views. And some channels are hitting 100,000 subscribers in just a few months. The crazy part? Most of it is done for free, using nothing more than Canva. But maybe you haven't started yours yet. Why? If you're putting it off, there's a word for that. Procrastination. It's often called the thief of time. And as creators, we know it can derail our projects before they even begin. Here's a tip. Don't wait for the perfect time. The perfect time doesn't exist. Start messy, start small, but just start. That's how every successful creator you see today began. And here's the secret the biggest channels know. It's not about clicking the right buttons. It's about telling the right stories. So, in this video, I'll first walk you step-by-step step through how to make your own stick figures come alive in Canva. Then I'll show you the storytelling formulas that can turn these simple drawings into content that actually goes viral. Before we even think about opening Canva, we need two things, a story to tell and a voice to tell it. First up, the script. Honestly, the story is the most important piece of the puzzle. Your new best friend for this is an AI tool like ChatGPT or even Canva's own Magic Write. You don't need to be some pro writer. Just give it a simple prompt like, write a short, relatable story about overthinking a simple decision. The goal here is to hit on universal, emotional feelings. We'll get into exactly what kinds of stories go viral later, but for now, just get a basic story down. Second, the voiceover. For this, I'll be using Eleven Labs. Of course, you can always use your own voice if you prefer, but I've found that the AI voice works really well for this style of video. You've seen these stick figure animations everywhere, right? They're pulling in millions of views, and some channels are hitting 100,000 subscribers in just a few months. Once you have completed the recording of the voiceover, download it. Now it's time to polish it using a free tool called Audacity. I'll leave the download link in the description. With Audacity open, go to File, Import, and bring in your voiceover file. The first trick I want to show you is a little-known retention hack for voiceovers. Press Ctrl-A to select the full audio track. Then go to Effect Special and select Truncate Silence. This tool automatically removes long pauses in your recording, which helps keep viewers engaged. Let's set it to detect any silence below to 40 dB, lasting longer than 0.3 seconds. Then, reduce those gaps down to 0.3 seconds. Click Apply, and you'll see that the overall length of the track has shortened. Let's give it a preview. Animations everywhere, right? They're pulling in millions of views. And some channels are hitting 100,000 subscribers in just a few months. The Much tighter, right? Now let's balance the audio. With the track selected, open the effects panel again. Under Volume and Compression, choose Normalize. This will adjust the volume so the loudest part of your audio hits a consistent target level without distorting. Finally, go to File, Export, Export as MP3, and save your polished voiceover. Let's head over to Canva, and no, you do not need the pro version for any of this. First, create a new 16 to 9 video design. If you're working on mobile, don't worry, you can follow along with the same steps. Next, get that voiceover uploaded. Find the Uploads tab on the left, click Upload Files, and grab that audio file you just made. Set the duration of the first page to be slightly longer than the length of the audio. Click on the audio, and that will add it to the timeline like this. Now let's set the background. Open the Element tab and search for Paper Background. Choose one that's subtle and not distracting and place it on the edge of the canvas so it snaps into the background position. If it feels a bit too bold, lower the transparency to keep things light and low-key. Hit play and listen to the very first sentence of your voiceover. The second it ends, pause. Right where your playhead has stopped, press the S key on your keyboard. They're pulling in millions of views. Keep splitting scenes like this, using natural breaks in the narration. Some scenes will be shorter, others longer. That's fine. The goal is to keep the visuals aligned with your script and engaging to the viewer. Now let's complete this section of the composition. The crazy part? Most of it is done for free, using nothing more than Canva. But maybe you haven't started yours yet. Why? If you're putting it off, there's a word for that. Procrastination. It's often called the thief of time. And as creators, we know it can derail our projects before they even begin. Here's a tip. Don't wait for the perfect time. The perfect time doesn't exist. Start messy, start small, but just start. That's how every successful creator you see today began. And here's the secret the biggest channels know. It's not about clicking the right buttons. It's about telling the right stories. When you're done, 
your timeline will look like a bunch of little clips, each one holding a single line of your story. That's your animation framework. Now let's add our character. Go to the very first clip. In the Elements tab, search for Stick Figure. You'll find a ton. Here's a pro tip for keeping your videos consistent. When you find a stick figure you like, click the three dots on it and look for the creator's name or brand. Searching for that specific creator can help you find a whole family of characters in the same style. Some of the best looking stick figures have a crown icon on them, which means they're only available with Canva Pro. I'll be using one of those for this tutorial, but don't worry. You can still find plenty of free stick figures without the crown, so you don't have to upgrade if you don't want to. Listen to the line in your first clip. You've seen these stick figure animations everywhere, right? What's happening? If the line is about thinking, find a stick figure in a thinking pose. If it's about walking, find one that's walking. Select one that fits, and don't overthink it. Each image will only last a few seconds, so avoid analysis paralysis. Just pick something and move on. Next, press R to create a rectangle. This can be styled like a thumbnail. Give it a thin border and increase the corner rounding. Then add text. Type out, watch this if you're lazy, and change the font to something handwritten like Chewy. Since this first scene is longer than average, stagger the timing of your layers so the elements appear one after another as the narration plays. Now, on to clip two. Listen to the line. They're pulling in millions of views. Find the right stick figure and drag it in. I'm going to use the same figures that I used in scene one. Next line. And some channels are hitting 100,000 subscribers in just a in just a few months. Search for a calendar or clock icon. Just a few months. You get the idea. Build out the rest of the video this way. Once your scenes are in place, go back and review the entire composition. Tighten up the timing so every element syncs with your voiceover. Add extra elements if needed, but remember, the key here is simplicity. Clear visuals plus a strong script is higher viewer retention. To make them move, click on a stick figure and then hit the Animate button at the top. Simple effects like pan, drift, or rise work wonders. You can control the direction and intensity to make it feel right, and don't sleep on sound effects. Canva has a huge audio library built right in. Search for little sounds like swoosh, pop, or typing, and drag them to your timeline to punch up certain moments. Just make sure to turn the volume down on them so they aren't louder than your narration. It's often called the thief of time. Once you're happy with it, watch the whole thing back one last time. Make sure the timing feels right. Then hit the share button, click download, and choose the MP4 video format. And that's it. You've officially made a stick figure animation, but now we get to the most important part. You have the technical skill now, but having the skill without the strategy is like knowing how to use a camera, but having no idea what makes a good photo. The secret to these videos isn't the animation, it's the story. These videos work so well because they tap into three really powerful human triggers. First, they are hyper relatable. The best stick figure stories are about the small universal things we all go through. Overthinking, self-doubt, putting things off, all the little anxieties of daily life. The simple drawing acts like a blank slate, so the viewer can easily see themselves in the character. When someone watches and thinks, wow, that's me, they feel understood, and that feeling is what makes people share. Second, the power of simplicity. That minimalist black and white look is a deliberate choice. We're swimming in a sea of chaotic, over-the-top content, so these videos feel like a breath of fresh air. They're visually calming. The lack of color or crazy backgrounds forces you to focus on just two things, the character's body language and the story being told. It's pure, intimate storytelling. Third, the story formula. A lot of these viral videos follow a simple, repeatable pattern. Start with a super common situation. Do you ever lie awake at night replaying an awkward conversation from five years ago? Push it to a funny or absurd place, and your brain somehow makes it 10 times worse than it actually was? End with a simple, memorable takeaway. Maybe some thoughts are best left unthought. This structure works because it's relatable, makes you chuckle, and leaves you with something to think about. If you're sitting there thinking, but what would I even make a video about? 
Here are three proven ideas to get you started. The Overthinking Chronicles. Think about all those little internal battles you have every day. Trying to write the perfect email, deciding what to watch, rehearsing a phone call in your head. This is a bottomless pit of relatable content. The Silent Struggles series. These can be a little more serious, but they are incredibly powerful for building a community. Tell stories about motivation, feeling like a fraud, being scared to fail, or watching your friends succeed while you feel stuck. You're giving a voice to feelings that tons of people have but don't talk about. The Tiny Victories Journal. This one is all about finding joy in small things. Animate that feeling of pure satisfaction when you finally clean your apartment, the triumph of waking up two minutes before your alarm, or the simple bliss of that first sip of coffee. These little positive moments are extremely shareable. If this guide was helpful, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications because I'm always breaking down new ways to create content that actually works. And now, I've got a question for you. What's the first story you're gonna tell with this method? Drop it in the comments below. I'd genuinely love to see what you come up with.